So, we call this thing coming up Global Day yeah. 1, which is a bit of a, shall we say, bolsy kind of a title. Yeah. In your outlook, what does Global Day 1 really mean? Well, look, I think it means that when you start the company, you do so with that global mindset in place, so you don't start your company, run it for a decade and think, oh, gee, we could go overseas, but you actually create the company with a real desire and a vision to serve a global market and to solve some some global problems. And in that mindset and that plan is a, a pathway that you can see to operating globally within a fairly short space of time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What about, what does it mean for you? Yeah, I think it's, it's, it, it actually comes back to when you're choosing a particular market or a particular kind of product or service that is suitable to push out globally. As yeah. you say, if I'm farming carrots, well, it's kind of difficult to lift the soil up and start farming those carrots in a different country, right? But if, say, I'm doing a SaaS platform as a pretty extreme opposite example, whether my first company or my first customer comes from the Netherlands or from Greenland or from the US or from Brisbane, it makes no difference. Yeah. And, and so it's very much a choice about what you choose to do Indeed. because there are some things that just doesn't really work and how you how you plan to deliver it as well yeah